Hello everyone, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Kingdom of Hearts which is released very recently is having an issue with crashing issue it is not launching won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low FPS drop stuck on loading screen and even black screen issue which is happening for many of users right now and how we can we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about when you are having this trouble what we need to do is we just need to do a restart on your system so to do a restart just go over here in this particular icon go to the power icon over here and try a restart so sometimes you know like i used to say a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble that is why i recommend you can start with a simple restart after the restart is done we can try the second step that you need to launch the game from the installation folder not from the steam so we most of us launch the game from the steam so that is why we are having the issue so if that is the case we have to launch the game from the installation folder so we actually have two method to navigate to the installation folder one we have a shortcut another one we can navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer so i'll be showing you both so the shortcut is just go over here in the respective game that is king kingdom hearts right click go to the properties install it file and just click on the browse so right now as you can see over here if you check at the top that this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common kingdom hearts as you can see this is the application i mean this is the particular folder right now what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we need to find the application so right now as you can see this from here we need to launch the game so try launch the game from here and that is what we have to do so most of us launch the game from here and if that is not the case we need to go over here apart from the shortcut we can also navigate to the installation folder so just go over here in this pc open this pc go to local disk c go to the program file x86 navigate to steam folder go to steam amps go to common now from here we have to navigate to kingdom hearts over here open this one and from here you can launch the game so try launch the game from here that is what you have to do and also apart from this then hence we are in the installation folder i would like to show you third step that is we have to run the game as administrator and also we have to run the game in the compatibility mode so to run the game as administrator we have to right click and we have to go to show more option go to the properties go for compatibility first click on run this program as administrator that is what we have to do go for apply and go for okay so this is what we have to do if still there you can also try run the game in the compatibility mode go for show more option go to the properties compatibility right click on run this program in the compatibility mode set this to windows 7 first one we have to set this to windows 7 go for apply or we can try to windows 8 go for apply so once it's been successfully run just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game that is what we have to do so most in the case most of the cases any one of the th steps will be completely working out so still if you're having the trouble the next one we have to make sure the language date time and region is correct so just go over here go to settings navigate to time and language go for date and time make sure time zone automatically time automatically and this third thing all these three things should be turned on now we need to go back go to language and region from here you have to select the country according to geography which means if you're from united states you have to select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom which means you have to set up the location according to geography once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to launch the game or hit on the play button but just press alt and tab from the keyboard the because this even helped many users and we found this from the reddit not for this game for most of the game this particular step did work it so you can try this out next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer we need to navigate to documents and over here as you can see you'll be having the folder for kingdom of hearts when you started playing the game and saving each progressions of the game so just delete the respective folder and you have to keep in mind when you do this you will be losing all the progressions of the game that is very important so we have to start from the scratch so we have to do this but even it helped many users so i am recommending you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security 
So just go over here in the search, search for control panel, search for the control panel in the settings, navigate to the control panel, go for system and security, go for windows defender firewall, go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall, keep scrolling down and navigate to kingdom of hearts, just keep scrolling down and navigate to kingdom hearts over here as you can see this is what you have to do and also make sure you have to mark both the private and both the public, both has to be marked, this is very important. You know, sometimes what we need to do is, if the game is not here, we need to add it by default. If the uh, game is not there, what we need to do is just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the game, Kingdom Hearts, just keep scrolling down a little bit. So uh, we'll be able to find it. So Kimpton Hearts select this one and from here we have to add the application. Once afterwards you'll be getting this. So make sure if the game is not there don't get panicked. We can use this particular method in order to add the game. Make sure both the private and both the public both did mark it. Next one is all about once after done just go back. Go back and try launch the game. Still if you are having the trouble the next one we need to unplug all the external USB devices. So right now on this particular laptop, which I usually used to play F124, as you can see, uh, over here I used to play F124. So over here I used to play it. So right now, the my particular PC is connected to the Logitech wheel, which I use it. So uh, what you need to do is sometimes, you know, the external devices might cause the issue up. So what you need to do is we just need to unplug all the external devices. And once afterwards, try launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched, you have to connect it back and try continue playing the game, even for the joystick as well. This even also help it many users. Next step is all about we need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration, search for the system configuration, go to the services, go for disable all, hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. They're going to ask you for restart. But hence we are in the middle of shooting so I am going to go for exit without restart. The users who are watching this you have to go for restart. And once the restart is done, go back to the game, try launching it. Next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay. So just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties. And also make sure enable the steam overlay while in game is turned on so we have to turn this off. So once after the turning this off you need to try launch the game. Still, if you are having the trouble, the next one is all about we have to give the commands in the launch option. That is, we have to try DX11. First, try with DX11 or you have to try with DX12. So, you have to try with either DX11 or you have to try with DX12. So, either DX11 will be working or you have to try with DX12. So, it will be working. So, even if you give this command, still if it's not working, you can try the next command that is D3, D2. We can try with this particular command. If that is not working also, you can just close this and you can try launch the game. That is what you have to do. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay applications. So this is a very important step. So whenever you're trying to launch the game, just go over here in the start and navigate to the task manager. Right there, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. So these things are running in the background process. So whenever you are launching the game, like Kingdom Hearts, which is around 16 GB or 65 GB, when many things, unwanted things is running in the background, you will be definitely having the crashing issue. That is why to the users who are having 8, 4, 16 GB is having crashing issue because many unwanted things is running in the background. So we need to exclude the unwanted things from here. So we just need to cross check over here and we need to remove the unwanted things. For example, Epic Games Logic can be end the task which is not needed. And also if you check over here, you can see if the Discord, if you find Discord over here, you can remove it. If you find anything like, you know, overclocking applications like, you know, Riva Tuner, MSC Afterburner, all these things can be removed from here. So just remove the unwanted things from here and once afterwards just close everything and you have to go back try launch the game. This did work it for many users because you know it's uh, or else will be having the crashing issue simultaneously so that is why I'm recommending you can try this out. Next step is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here search for graphics settings you can search for the graphics settings. Now from here we need to go over here and as you can see there are a lot of games already added. So just click on the browse. Now we need to navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, 
go over here and navigate to steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to the game over here we need to navigate to the game kingdom hearts just keep scrolling down and navigate to kingdom hearts okay so just keep scrolling down so i'm not able to find the game so okay here it is so select this one and we need to select the application so select kingdom hearts from here and we just need to add it so right now the game is added as you can see the game is added just click on the option make sure it is from let windows decide change this to high performance and as you can see it is running on nvidia geoforce rtx 2080 with max q design so just go for save once it has been successfully saved just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search search for view advanced system setting navigate to this particular one go to the advanced tab go for settings go for advanced go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk c now go for the custom size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here navigate to the calculator so we need to give the value for initial size so first type your ram so the ram of my computer is 32 gb so i have to type the ram multiply it with a constant value that is 1024 and i have to multiply it with 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times the total ram so i'm copy this particular value and i'm pasting it over here the maximum size is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 that brings me this particular value and I have to multiply it with 3 that brings me 98 304 and I have to copy this particular value and you have to paste it. So once after the value has been successfully done just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is after increasing the virtual memory you need to check it. Still if you are having the trouble try or make sure the windows is up to date so just go to the settings and go to the windows update over here. Make sure the windows is up to date and if you are having any kind of lease like cumulative update or KB update which is happening for many of the users make sure that you have to fix this up which means you have to do a restart and if you are having any pending update just update it and afterwards most probably the KB updates will be completely fixed. Next one is all about we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to try updating the graphics card which is a very important step. So just go over here I will be providing a link in the description to both Nvidia. So the Nvidia users has to go over here and you have to select things like the product type and you have to select product series, product should be selected, operating system should be selected, download type should be selected and the language should be selected. So right now the Geoforce is what we have to do which is the product type and the Geoforce uh, RTX product series is Geoforce RTX and the product type should be selected. You have to select the operating system if you are on Windows 11 select the Windows 11 if you are on Windows 10 you have to select Windows 10 and go for search and when you go for the search you will be getting the latest versions of graphics card which is 555.99 which is the latest version and which is released on 2024 6.4 which is few days back and it is around 628.65 MB so we need to download this one install and you have to do a restart and afterwards try launch the game so if you're on the AMD just go over here select everything over here which means you have to select the graphics you have to select which one is used RD on R, uh, RX select the 5000 series and just go over here go for submit now if you're on Windows 11 64 bit edition download this one and if you're on Windows 10 you can download this one and install a restart as a mandatory and try launch the game you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ over here just keep scrolling down and if the system is based on x64 download this one and also if the system is based on x86 you have to download this one and if you don't know how to check the system type just go over here just go over here in the search navigate to settings go for system over here now keep scrolling down and navigate to about from here we'll be able to understood the ram if you don't know how to check the ram and also it is clearly visible that the system type is 64 bit so hence my system is 64 bit i have to download next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is after trying with this if we are having still trouble we need to move to the next one that is all about nothing but we need to verify integrity of game files and before that i forgot one more step we both steps have been done so that is we need to verify integrity of game files so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties 
go for install it file so the game is ran 71.87 gb so we'll be having a lot of files over here so just click on the verify integrity of game file so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing missing which is one of the reason why you are having the crashing issue so this will be cross checking everything and once after every if any files are corrupted they will be fixing uh, fixing from there and or it will be dictating you or showing it to you over here or else we need we are fine with that so let me wait this to reach 100 percentage and i'll be showing you what you have to do next So right now all the 886 files successfully validated which means there is no issue with this. The last and the least step we need to try and uninstall and reinstall the game. Just go over here, go to manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back. We should be try not, not to install on the same local disk from which uninstall you have to try a new local disk. So these possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon in the next video. Bye.